Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 best free to play money making methods in RuneScape 3. So if you are someone who is just starting the game, who is a free to play player and you're looking to make some money, this is definitely the video for you. Do keep in mind that free to play money making methods are a lot worse than membership worlds, um, money making methods you can make with membership. You do make a lot less as a free-to-play player, and you'll only be making around 1 to 3 mil per hour using any of these 10 best free-to-play money-making methods. Anyway, we're just going to jump right into it. So starting off with number 10, we have Killing Cows. So for this money-making method, there basically isn't any requirements. I would, however, recommend at least 10 plus magic range, which only takes a few minutes to get. And then also if you have a dragon breath and chains, this is really useful if you do decide to use magic. And then ricochet is really useful if you use ranged. Also surge makes banking much quicker and will increase your GP per hour. Um, for the 1.3 mil, I am assuming that you do have surge, which does require 30 magic. And then also the best spot to kill cows is in Burthorpe slash Taverly because it is closest to the bank. So for this method, just gear up with your best ranged gear or magic gear, whichever one you prefer using, because you are going to get a little bit XP in that skill. And then you're going to want to head down to the cow pen in Berthorpe. So this is just south of uh, the Berthorpe Bank or north of the Taverly Lodestone. So what I found most effective for this method, you can kill the cows from ranged outside of the cow pen. And then you can go in and use area loot to pick up all the drops at once. So this way you will be going as fast as possible. Then you can just run north to the bank and bank the items. You are going to want to pick up literally everything from cows because you do kill them so fast that it's not really worth um, only picking out the most expensive items. And they're also basically around the same price. So you are going to be making around 2k per kill and you should be able to kill a little bit over 500 cows per hour, making this method over 1 mil per hour, um, so approximately 1.3 mil. And moving on to number 9, we have cutting oak logs. So the only requirement for this method is 15 wood cutting, although the higher wood cutting level you have, the more logs you'll be able to cut per hour. And then also the best location is just south of the Grand Exchange, and like the previous method, this method can make you around 1.3 mil per hour. So as you can see, this is where I like to cut the oak logs. There's three oak trees just around here, and the bank is extremely nearby. You can see it in the top left hand of this screen. And so essentially, you just want to cut the oak logs until you have a full inventory and then go bank them. Now, oak logs have been rising in price recently, mostly because of the Wars Retreat update. So now you'll actually need 1,000 oak logs to upgrade your bonfire. Um, so that is why uh, oak logs are rising in price. Right now they're listed at around 750 GP each. So we are going to be making over 20k per inventory. And they are actually selling above the Grand Exchange of price right now. So you will be making a little bit more than what is listed on the Grand Exchange. So this is why this is a pretty good money maker. And you'll also get a little bit of woodcutting XP along with it, which is always pretty nice. Moving on to number 8, we have smelting gold bars. And the only requirement for this method is 40 smithing. And this is actually an AFK money making method, which is really rare for free to play money makers. There aren't many AFK um, ways to make money in free to play. So this is really good. Um, it's probably a more appealing method to a lot of you guys. You'll have about one minute without clicking, which usually is pretty nice. And like the other methods, you're going to be making around 1.3 mil per hour. So to start, you're going to want to buy some gold ore. Once you do this, you'll want to deposit it into your furnace, and then you can just start smelting them from there. So as you can see, gold ore is listed at 427 GP each, and then gold bars are listed at nearly 1,200 each. So that's profit of a little bit over 700 GP per bar. So that is where you are going to be making all your profits, that profit margin right there. So check that before you do this method because the GP per hour can vary a little bit. And then once you just start smelting the gold bars, this is the AFK part. So you have about 66 seconds before you have to redo this again. So in those 66 seconds, you could be AFK and do whatever you want. Um, and it is pretty nice because you're going to be making around 1 mil per hour while having that AFK time in this method as well. 
Also, a quick thing that I wanted to point out, when you do finish a full inventory of gold bars, just right click the furnace and then deposit all into the metal bank. Then you can just start smelting the gold bars again. So this way you don't have to go back and forth to a bank, you can just use the metal bank. And then to withdraw the gold bars, just scroll down here on the left and then you can just withdraw all or withdraw X amount and that's how you can just withdraw them and then sell them on the Grand Exchange for that profit. Moving on to number seven, we have Fletching Magic Short Bows. So this does require a fairly high requirement in 80 Fletching. And then also, if you use the Portables Discord, the link to that is in the description, you should be able to find a Portable Fletcher on a free-to-play world, which will help you increase your times and boost your profit per hour when Fletching Magic Short Bows. So anyway, to start this method, you are going to want to try and do that and find a Portable Fletcher. And... Once this is done, then you can just start fletching your magic short bows. You'll need 14 bowstring and 14 magic short bows unstrung. Um, make sure you do configure the fletcher so that you can just left click onto it to string the magic short bows. You are going to want to use the portable fletcher because it will allow you to save a bit of time. You'll be able to craft two magic short bows at once, which will of course boost your profit per hour a little bit. But if you can't find a portable fletcher, don't really worry about it. You can still do this method without it. It's just your profit per hour will, will be a little lower. Um, but with the portable Fletchers, you should make the 1.5 mil per hour. And then also make sure you do set up a preset. That is something that is really important for this method to maximize your GP per hour. Um, another thing that is really great about this method is that you are going to be getting quite a bit of XP per hour as well in Fletching, which is pretty nice. Moving on to number six, we have crafting spider wands. So there are only two requirements for this method. You need 26 crafting and also 20 rune crafting, and you should be able to make around 1.7 mil per hour. So to start this method, you are gonna wanna buy some thread, some logs, and some spider silk off of the Grand Exchange. If you're looking to do this method for a full hour, you will wanna buy 3,240 spider silk. 540 thread and 1620 logs so this is going to cost about around 1.5 mil but the outputs that you're going to be getting from this is a little bit over 3 mil so first make sure you create a preset so you're going to want to make your preset so you have five thread nine logs and then 18 spider silk so that is probably the most important thing to do to start then you're going to want to hop on the portables friends chat which we discussed earlier and again, the link to the friends chat or the discord is in the description down below. And you're going to want to try and find a world with a portable crafter. So this time the portable crafter is more useful than the portable Fletcher we talked about earlier. What the portable crafter is going to be doing, it's going to be saving you a few ingredients. So for example, when I craft some of these spider wands, I'm going to be saving some spider silk. And you could see that it did actually happen. Um, for one of these wands I just crafted in the bottom left corner of my chat box, you can see that I saved one spider silk when making one of these logs. And this is really useful because I am going to be saving a lot of spider silk throughout the full hour of doing this method. And spider silk costs around 300 GP each. So that is just going to add to your profit while doing this method. Another thing which is really nice about this method is that you are going to be getting some crafting XP, which is pretty useful. Moving on to number five, we have killing chickens. So five magic is recommended and also 45 magic is really useful for the chains ability. Um, so just make sure you have at least five magic for the dragon breath ability, which literally takes just a few minutes to get. Um, but anyway, to start off this method, you are going to want to turn on your area loot. So do this by going into the settings and then under the drop tab and the loot systems, you should see area loot. Make sure this is checkmarked. On. So make sure you have Dragon Breath and Chains at the front of your action bar. That way you will be able to kill the chickens as fast as possible. And when they die, you should just pick up all of the drops that they are dropping using area loot. That is why you are going to want to have it on because picking up the drops is much quicker. And as I said, you are going to want to pick up everything, including their bones. If you do have a bone crusher, you can use it and get a little bit of, of extra prayer XP if you are looking at doing that um, but otherwise just pick it up and put it in the bank so anyway once you have a full inventory you are just going to want to go south to the previous combat academy it's not really that anymore 
but just go to the bank chest here and then you can deposit all your items and then head back up and kill more chickens. So this is a pretty great money making method because there's very little requirements and you can make over 2 mil per hour doing it. It's probably one of the better early game money making methods in RuneScape. Moving on to the fourth best free to play money making method, we have killing rabbits. So the only recommendation is 45 magic and that is for the chains ability and you should make around 2.2 mil per hour. So the rabbits are located in Burthorpe, just south of the bank. And you will want to make sure that you have your chains ability and your dragon breath ability at the start of your action bar. Alternatively, you can use ranged and use ricochet. Um, or you can even use a combination of both of these and switch to a bow when your abilities are recharging. The main part about this is you will want to continue using your AoE abilities on the rabbits so you can kill them as fast as possible because they respawn really quick. Rabbits also only drop the raw rabbits which are worth around 2k each. So you will want to have your area loot on as well so you can pick them all up really quickly. Um, and once you do pick them all up, just go a little bit north and then bank them. And that is basically it for this method. It is a little bit more click intensive than killing chickens. Um, and you make basically the same amount of money. So overall, comparing both of the two methods, um, they are both basically the same. Um, rabbits seem to be a little bit more click intensive. Moving on to number three, we have crafting ruby amulets. This requires 50 crafting and also some starting cash so you can actually do this method. So to start this method you will want to buy the ruby amulets unstrung and balls of wool. Start by making a preset of 14 of each in your inventory. So now once this is done use the ball of wool on the ruby amulet and then you will start stringing them. You just want to repeat this process until all of your ruby amulets are complete. You should be able to make around 5,000 of these per hour and you will also gain around 20,000 crafting XP as well. One thing that you definitely should note is that there is a buy limit of 5,000 ruby amulets every 4 hours so you won't be able to do this for more than an hour and a half at a time unless you buy ahead of time. And also make sure you try and buy the balls of wool and ruby amulets at a lower price. Especially the balls of wool, they aren't traded very often. So try and make sure that you only buy them at the grand exchange price or right around there. Don't try and overbuy them because that will really cut into your profit. Moving on to number two, we have killing spell wisps. And there aren't any specific requirements, but there are some recommendations for this method. So recommended is 50 plus combat. Also have a high range level or magic level. So spell wisps, they are located near the wizard's tower. You can kill them with either magic or range. If you have a lower general combat level, you should go with range since they are weak to range. So your accuracy will be a little bit higher against them. And essentially what you're going to be looking for in these spell wisps is their impish ashes. They drop these every time and they're worth a little bit over 4k each. So that's where you are going to be making most of your money. But I suggest having your area loot on and just picking up everything since you can deposit all of these through wizard myrtle which is nearby. So essentially that is it for the killing spell wisps you will want to make sure that you have your aoe abilities active um, so like dragon fire and chains if you are using magic if you're using range make sure you have ricochet up at the top of your ability bar because that way you'll be able to hit more than one of them at a time and honestly i think this is one of the best free to play money making methods um, probably the best because you do get a little bit of combat xp while you are doing it so yeah you will make around three mil per hour maybe a little bit more um, but and you'll also get 25,000 combat xp per hour which is really nice for free to play players because in free to play you really should be building your accounts because you need to be a pretty good level when you go into member worlds so that's why i think this method is personally the best and so anyway once you get a full inventory um, we're just going to price check this. As you can see, we made 87k in one inventory. It literally only took a few minutes. Um, but you just go up here and talk to Wizard Myrtle. You can deposit all of your items with him so you can use them as a bank. 
Um, then you just go back to the spell wisp. So it's really easy to deposit all of your items, which is another reason why this method is so great. And now moving on to number one, we have tanning hides. So there are a few requirements. You do need a large cash stack to start this method. Um, that is to buy the hides. The hides are pretty expensive and you're going to be buying a lot of them. So I would say at least have five mil, but you would need to go back to the Grand Exchange and buy them every probably five minutes if you have five mil. So having a large cash stack is really important. I would say probably around 40 mil should be able to last you a full hour. And then also use the Portables Discord to find a portable crafter. Alternatively, you can just buy your own because it will cut into your profit only by a few hundred K, which isn't really too bad since you can see you can make around 10 mil per hour doing this method. So there are going to be three different items that you are going to be tanning for profit. So just looking at the grand exchange prices, the cow hide gives you around 55 GP and then green dragon hide around 231 and blue dragon hide at 233 GP. Now, the important thing to note with this method is that Grand Exchange prices are a bit volatile and they do change frequently, so you will want to check the prices before you do this method. And to do that, just buy the uh, Dragon Hide and then the Dragon Leather just to check and see what they are actually selling for. Um, then you can just sell it, um, sell the ones that you bought, and you'll be able to see the exact price. So as you can see, I bought the Blue Dragon Hide for 2348 and the dragon leather is selling for over 3,000. So there's a huge profit margin there that you can be making money on. There is, however, a buy limit of 10,000 every four hours. So you might need to buy them in advance. Although, as I said, the prices do change frequently. So that is a little bit dangerous. Um, and that, that being said, this method is a bit dangerous when you are doing it because the prices can change um, so quickly but it is a really great money making method because you can make a ton of money off of it as well so I'm just gonna test out the blue dragon hide since I saw that huge margin so I'm probably just gonna insta buy the dragon hide and then I'll see what I can sell the leather for so starting off with the um, exact method you are going to want to create a preset first so just fill your inventory full of dragon hide or blue or green whichever one you choose and then you're going to want to have your portable crafter. So now configure that and select the fourth option, tan leather. And now when you left click it, you will be able to tan the leather. So you just want to click on the crafter, tan the leather, go to your bank, hit the preset button, and then repeat that over and over again. So you can quickly see that this is a really click intensive method, but you can definitely make over 10 mil plus per hour doing this method. So it is really great GP per hour but it is really click intensive and there is even a risk of losing money. So it is a really volatile method. Um, usually you do make a ton of money and I decided to go ahead and do a full 10K blue dragon hide just to see how much money I would make. So after doing a full uh, run of 10,000, I ended up making a little bit over three mil. This was really good because it only took around 20 minutes to do all of these. So that being said, it's nearly 9 mil per hour, which is really, really great. And you can, of course, make 10 mil per hour and even higher because I did insta buy and insta sell these. So if I wanted to buy the dragon hide lower and wait to buy them, and if I wanted to sell the, the dragon leather higher, you saw that it sold for over 3,100, and I insta sold it for 2,600. So I could have easily made probably... 20 mil per hour doing this and turn my three mil profit into six maybe seven or eight mil if I waited but that being said there is also a risk to waiting as well so once you finish a full 10k you can go ahead and try out the green dragon hide next um, see the profit margin on that um, and if you want you can actually pre-buy these so buy 10,000 earlier and stockpile it since there is that buy limit and then you can do it all in one hour and that way you'll make a ton of money. So that is basically it for this money making guide. Um, there are some really great methods in this video and number one is by far the best in terms of GP per hour. But as I said, it is more risky and more click intensive. So it really is up to you for which method you do choose to do. And so if you guys have any questions about any of these methods in the video, comment it down below and I'll try and help you guys out 
the best I can. Also, I have a Discord server. I will be linking that in the description down below as well. If you guys have any questions, there's lots of people in that server that will help you out, including myself. And yeah, I really hope this video was helpful and you found it interesting. Subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. And I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.